right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Steelers placed two more players on the reserve COVID list. Joe Hayden honored by the league for his game-saving tackle against Tennessee. And Pitt's getting ready for the Peach Bowl with their backup quarterback. We'll talk about those things and more. Hello again, everybody. I'm Josh Taylor. Welcome to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We're taking your phone calls. 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. And my guest tonight, a man who needs no introduction, the illustrious Jeff Hathorne from 93.7 The Fan. Jeff, good to talk to you as always. Let's start with the Steelers here. I want to start with just particularly what the Steelers are up against going into this game against the Chiefs. Steelers now have six players on the uh, reserve COVID list, Anthony McFarland, and also the name slipped my mind that quickly, Isaiah Bugs Isaiah being Bugs. added to the list. That's six yeah. now, 11 players for Kansas City. Among them, their kicker, Harrison Butker, he's already ruled out because he's unvaccinated. Travis Kelsey, the tight end, Tyree Kill, the wide receiver, their top two pass catchers on this offense right now on that list. How much of this really affects your expectations for this game. If these two guys particularly, both Kelsey and Tyreek Hill cannot play for the Chiefs. Well, it definitely helps. And if the Steelers, you know, they need an MVP this year. I and mean, what they need is a mole in that Kansas City organization to go make sure that COVID test isn't negative until Monday. <laughs> so Hill and Kelsey don't play. Yeah, they change the game a lot. Let's, let's be real. I don't know if I'd go as far as Ryan Clark said on our air that they would, the Steelers would be favored or the Steelers would, would win the game if those two aren't in. It definitely gives them a better shot. But Patrick Mahomes is still really good, and they have other guys. And the way this run defense has had issues, Edwards Hilaire is a guy that you have to be concerned about for Sunday. But, man, uh, the Steelers have been, knock on wood, pretty good about COVID. Yeah, they've had a few cases here or there, and Ben Roethlisberger obviously missed a game because of COVID. Uh, but beyond that, they've kept healthy in that regard so far. And maybe that will pay off. Maybe that uh, attention to detail when it comes to COVID will pay off for them. And of course, you say this, and then tomorrow there'll be 12 people on the list mm. with the way this thing goes. But uh, as of right now, if you don't have Hill and Kelsey, I mean, those are two number one receivers on pretty much any team across the league. Uh, it does help the Steelers out tremendously. And then there's also Harrison Butker, the kicker that I mentioned before. The Chiefs got to bring in another kicker to try to kick kick the ball in Arrowhead Stadium on a Sunday in December. I mean, granted, you know, whoever's coming in behind him is going to have time to prepare, but that's got to be something that at least sticks in the back of your well, mind. If it comes down to maybe three points or an extra point being the difference in this ball game or being a critical point. And you kind of hope that you saw what you saw from ten, the Tennessee game where the Steelers can give up yards. But when they get in that red zone, they make stops. And that's what they did very well against Tennessee. Yeah, they gave up 201 yards rushing, but they bowed their backs in the red zone. And if they can do that again, that can hide some of the deficiencies they have on defense. Of course, it's easier said than done with an all-pro quarterback. Uh, Steelers defense ranked number four in the league in red zone defensive percentage. That's something that does stick mm -hmm. out.